acceleration, speed, 0 to 60, 0 to 100, 100 to 0, G-forces, GPS location, accelerator and brake usage, gear choice, sound. These are things we've always had in the performance data recorder, along with the ability to analyze your data like a professional engineer using Cosworth Toolbox. Now there's new automated recording options, so the PDR can act like a dash cam that comes on when you start the car. You can also time point-to-point -point road courses that you create and compare your performance on these custom routes day to day. With high definition 1080p recording, the new PDR provides drivers with a higher quality memory of their drive. And if you're worried about how much fun the valet is having with your Corvette, well the PDR can record that too. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. It's another episode of Seek on a Speed 252 and I want to thank you for pushing that play button. The drawing for the C8 Mini and Corvette posters is still going on. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave your comments down below. Now let's talk about the truth for the C8 Mini and Corvette allocations. In this video, we're going to talk about the C8 Mini Corvette along with the allocations that you may have put down yet or may not have put down yet. And I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the C8 Mini Corvette allocations. So it's definitely a video you want to watch all the way through. One of my followers left a comment down in the description below saying, what are you, Zara's offspring or something? No, I'm not. But Chevrolet, you know, let me get closest to this car as I possibly can and get as enough information as I can to actually bring it to you all. So you can have the best information out there in the market. If this is a channel you want to be a part of, you definitely want to subscribe because I can tell you right now I'm going to provide you with some top-notch C8 Mini and Corvette information along with all these allocations that people are talking about. How do you all feel about this color right now? This is called the Zeus Bronze. I've seen it once on the Cadillac and i also seen it on the C8 Mini Corvette and I think a lot of people will grow to love this color for sure. Give me a show of hands, or not a show of hands, but actually a comments down below. How many of y'all already left your deposits down for C8 Mini Corvette allocation? I would like to know how many of you already went along the process and decided to order one of these bad boys. Now, depending on your dealership, some of them are not going to give you the real information and some of them will give you the true information. I want to give you some of the realest information you need to know about this process. So if you are custom ordering your 2020 C8 Mini Corvette and you think you're ready to go, well, if you're giving your deposit to the dealership, have you selected all the color options and your dealer has entered your order and given you an order number? Now you just have to sit back, wait, and relax for your car to show up. But that's not quite how it works. So let's talk about the order number process. The dealer gave you an order number and told you the order was accepted by GM. So it must be a car that's on the way, right? I'm afraid that's really not true. Any Chevy dealership in the country has the ability to enter an order number in the system. As the order number moves through the bill process, it goes through a series of event codes, letting you know what is going on with your car. Those codes could range in the way between 1,100 order number accepted by GM or up all the way to 6,000 vehicle delivered to customer. Your order number could currently be in 1,100 and stay there until your dealership actually gets an allocation for your car. So just because you put in a thousand dollar deposit for your allocation at a dealership doesn't mean that you actually have an allocation until GM says your dealership has an allocation for your car. Before we get into the true depth talking about the Corvette allocations, let's talk about what dealership does. Twice a month, usually on a Thursday, GM sends out each dealer two times a week. This continuous shows every vehicle that GM makes, how many that the dealer has in stock or inbound for each vehicle, and how many GM thinks the dealer needs of each vehicle. The dealer has a few days till the following Monday to study this and decide whether he thinks he needs this. The dealer has three choices for each vehicle. He can agree with GM and take what they suggested. He can decide he doesn't need that many or take less. Or he can decide he needs more and request a number higher than GM suggested. Requesting more is not guaranteed of getting more. Also, when your car is new or hot like the new Corvette, which is coming out, GM works with what is called a control allocation. That is a set number you will be getting during a designated period and you cannot request more or less. So now let's talk about allocations. Once the dealer and GM hash out how many cars they're going to get, the dealer then gets the amount over the next two weeks with his allocations. Allocations come out on Thursdays, 
must be filled by Saturday and then can be edited on Tuesday. The weekly allocation tells the dealer how many cars he has to order that week, what if any constraints the dealer may work with. Now the key word I just said there is constraints. And we're going to talk about constraints later on in this video, but I'm not going to lie. I do love the very end of the C8 Management Corvette. So if a dealer is allocated five cars that week and your order is somewhat in that five and you meet the constraints, your order is pulled and move up to the next slide, which is event code 2000. Now you got your car. Once your dealer is out of allocation, no more orders will be picked up even if you already have your order number. This is why it's important to understand your dealer's allocation situations before giving them your deposit. So a lot of dealerships in the country can tell you they have this many allocations, but truly only have four. Some can tell you they have 33, they may only have 20. Some can tell you they have 500, they may only have 200. So you want to make sure you have the true accurate information of how many allocations your dealership has before you put down your deposit with them. So now we're going to talk about constraints. So your dealer calls you and says your order number is up. He has an allocation. He's ready to place your order. But you can't exactly um, get what you want. Maybe the color you want is not available. Or maybe they're going to only build a couple of Z51, so you can't get that. So that brings a dozen issues down the road that you're not expecting. This is called a constraint. When GM is limited the availability of certain options, there is a number of reasons this could be happening, but usually it's a supplier issue. But regardless of the reason, you can't get your car on the way until this is get figured out. At this point, you really only have three options. First, change your order number to match the constraints. Second, the dealer is willing to ask the dealer to push your order back to the next allocation period and see what other constraints they have left or can uplift these constraints. And last, you can cancel your order and try again somewhere else. So this is where I say it pays to deal with a dealership that has a decent number of allocations. Because say, for instance, you want a rabbit blue and they're only going to make 15% of rabbit blues. And you're dealing with a dealership that only has 33 allocations. Well, most likely, if they only get two allocations, you most likely will get that rabbit blue that everyone actually likes. If the dealerships is getting anywhere between 40 to 50 allocations that week. It's most likely they're probably getting seven to eight blue cars, which means it's most likely you'll probably end up getting one of those blue cars. Another tip you must think about, if your dealership has limited allocations and you want one color that GM is not offering and you tell them to push it back, it's a possibility you may not ever get your car. So now let's talk about the order tracking. Once your car makes it through the allocation and constraints, you hit event code 3000 and that begins to move through the system. From this time till your car is actually built, it's about four to six weeks depending on any production delays. However, the good news is that once your car gets to that event code 3000, you have the car on the way. You'll soon have a TPW, Target Production Week, although you may see that change until they hit the event code 3400 where the TPW becomes pretty stable. When the car comes off the line, the event code 3800 when it's bade and waiting transportation is at 4000. When it's actually in motion and on its way to you, that event code changes to 4200. Event code 5000 means the car is at the dealer lot, and event code 6000 means the car is in your driveway. Every two weeks, a lot of people will be posting all of the allocation and constraint reports so you'll know what the constraints are on and what percentage, so that way you can have an intelligent conversation about your order when you're at your dealer. In the meantime, if you have any questions on how the order process works, feel free to email me at speed 252 at gmail.com. Now, we'll actually try to provide as much information as I can to you regarding the C8 Miniature Corvette allocations. Now, I made this video for a number of reasons. Um, as you all know, I've been around the C8 Miniature Corvette for a while now. I did an official review on it. Um, I actually went to the unveiling as well. And I want to make sure you get the accurate information you need to know in the process of ordering your C8 Miniature Corvette. And I want to make sure you're not getting scammed by dealers. I want to make sure that your dealers are treating you fairly because at the end of the day, most dealers are all about making money. You know, a lot of people have been asking, will these cars be marked up? Will they be sold at MSR? MSRP. There's dealerships that's going back and forth that says they will not sell over MSRP and some that will probably end up selling over MSRP. So you definitely want to be careful in checking into that as well. Here's another quick tip. Just because you have an allocation down, once again, doesn't mean that you're going to get a car. Now, I'm going to say this because a lot of dealerships says you put down your 1000 deposit, it is refundable, which means that they may not even have an allocation for your car. That's just a suggestion. I don't, I don't know exactly for sure if your dealership don't have enough allocations to fill all that customer's order. But I'm going to say this as well. If your dealership has an allocation for your car and you go in there to build your car, make sure you know everything that you're looking for, make sure you know everything that you're wanting, and make sure you know all the details about your car before you end up putting down your extra 5%. Because once you put down your 5%, you cannot get that money back. You can't go back and say, hey, I decided to change this and I want this. Because if you do so, 
that will also push your order back and possibly maybe put you in a position where you may not still end up never getting the car. One last quick tip. If a dealership tells you you're number seven on their allocation list, that doesn't mean squat. I'm sorry to tell you this. They may hurt your feelings, but if they tell you you're number seven, you're number two, you're number four on the allocation list, that doesn't mean anything. Just because you're number seven doesn't mean you're going to get your car number seven. You may end up getting your car at number 18 just because you're number seven on the list. And I can make another video explaining why this may be the case. And don't be shocked if you are number seven on the list and you don't get your car at number seven. And it's not due to your dealership reason. Is due to because the dealership may not have the allocation that you're waiting for or they may have constraints on the car that you're wanting as well. So again, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I will try to provide you with all the CA information I can possibly find for you.